OpenZava has a set of project templates so you don't have to start your new OpenZava project from scratch. In this video, we are going to create a ready-to-use project management application using one of these templates. The first step is to launch OpenZava Studio and choose the option to create a new project. When you click to create a new project, you will see the template field. When you open it, you will see several templates that can be used as a base for creating our new project, such as basic, master detail, CRM, or project management. In this case, we are going to choose project management. We choose English as the language. Then enter our project name, MyTracker. And change the package to com, my company. Click finish and our OpenZava project management application is ready. We open the folder with the source code of our project, where we see several packages already created. Let's examine the model package, where we can see a group of entities already created that are the base of our application. We also have a calculators package with a couple of calculators, and even an action. The best part is that the application is ready to run. Let's test it. We wait for it to start up. And finally, we copy the URL displayed in the console into our browser. And this is what appears in our browser. On the identification page, we enter admin as the user and admin as the password. Upon entering, we see that we already have available the typical modules of a project management application. Even many of these modules already have some initial data, useful for doing the first tests. Let's try creating an issue. We press on issues. We enter the title of the issue. The type. The description. We assign it to a plan. A plan is the association between a worker and a period. We see how we can attach files, if we wanted to. And we also have a discussion thread. Let's add a comment. We have our issue ready. Let's save it. We press the save button and then we go back to the list, where we can see our newly recorded issue. If we go to the plans module we can see our issue there too. We choose the plan and here we have the issue. In the plan we can move the order, create issues, etc. As you can see, without having to write a line of code or configure anything, we have a project management application ready to use. Also, if it does not fit your needs you have the source code to adapt or expand it to your liking. Before we continue, let's delete the issue we created. But there's more. This project includes the code for automatic tests. We open SRC, test, Java to see a few classes with JUnit tests. We open issue test, for example, and we can take a look at what the code looks like to do automatic tests of an OpenZava module. Running the tests is very simple. With the right mouse button on the project, we go to run as and choose the JUnit test option. Now all the JUnit tests that exist in the project are running. The automatic tests of OpenZava use a web browser without a graphical interface to execute the OpenZava modules, exactly as a user would with a real browser. Step by step it checks that everything is working as expected. I advise you to carefully examine the source code of these tests because it will help you learn to do automatic tests for your own applications. Fantastic! It came out green. If you liked what you've seen, but you don't work with OpenZava Studio and instead prefer to use IntelliJ, Visual Studio Code, or simply Maven with the command line, no problem. The template to create an OpenZava project management application is actually a Maven archetype that you can use from your favorite development environment. The archetype is OpenZava project management archetype. Did you like what you saw? 
In that case, we encourage you to try creating a project management application using the template and examine the resulting code yourself. You will be able to learn many things, such as the use of inheritance, fields to store icons, JPA search methods in entities, rich text fields, discussion threads, user sortable lists with drag and drop, custom actions for collections, JUnit automated tests, etc. Tell us how it goes, and if you have any problems, don't hesitate to ask us on the forum. Bye.